how's it going? It's been a while. It's definitely been a while. The last time I spoke to you was in, hang on, let me check. Scotland, in Galloway, when we were exploring Galloway, late April, early May. And that was awesome. God, I definitely, we definitely need to go back there. But yeah, it's now August. So there's been a bit of a gap. And the reason probably why there's been a bit of gap is we, I've been quite busy. Um, picking up work so we're both agency workers Loza is an agency nurse um, and I'm an agency HGV driver at the minute we've had the opportunity well I've had the opportunity to jump on a bit of work in a large block uh, and earn a bit of money so I've taken that opportunity but it's meant that things like this take a bit of a back seat but let's update you where we are with things so like I said, it's August now. And by the way, 500 days living in this thing. So, happy 500 day anniversary, bus. We have got a plan for the end of the year. And it's quite a big deal. It's quite, it's a massive plan. It's a massive change. And it changes everything. But at the same time, nothing. I'm going to wait till Loz gets there to talk about it because we're both so buzzing about it. How's life been with the dog? You're okay, aren't you? He's absolutely loving it. We're loving him and it's just completed us, hasn't it? As a trio, that's it. We are a little family and we absolutely love it. He loves living in this thing. You know, the fact that we are parking up in the place that we like to park up and just let him out and he runs about, he loves it. So yeah, he's loving his life. Um, we've had quite a bit of hot weather in the UK. Even by European standards, I would say. Not as hot as what it's been in other parts of Europe. But, you know, the north of England was touching 40 degrees, 41 degrees, whatever. And we've been in hotter, temp hotter temperatures than that in this van. But you acclimatise, don't you, to where you are. So that was a bit cheeky. New things in the van. You've always got something new to show. This shelving, don't know if you can see that all the way back from there, but this shelving, got a fan on there, some air fresheners, candles, and always improving it, always adding little touches. But yeah, we're doing really well. Like I said, we're on a bit of a money earner at the minute. It's all heading in the right direction, 100% heading in the right direction. Where I am right now, is on like a little ridge line on the Manchester side of the Peak District. And when I stumbled across it, I thought this is pretty, pretty good location. Quite quiet when we first got there. It's a little graveled car park area looking out onto the sort of like a view. On the floor of the sort of tar, uh, car park area, there's a few uh, tyre marks, which is an indicator of boy racers one or two popped up last night absolute no trouble it was a sunday night but no trouble apart from when they went to leave this area they floored it so dogs going mental just absolutely no need to do it basically and there's just been a bit too much people older people young people a mix of just coming in walking down there walking back but for me you just get signs within yourself. If you're feeling it, great. If you're not feeling it, move off. So in a few hours, I'm packing up and moving off to a new location. I'm just not feeling it here. But this is part of the van life, isn't it? That's the current situation. Other little things that I've added to the van as well are these solar lights. Now, I was camping up at Mamtor in the Peak District. A guy, I asked a guy what he had in his van and he showed me these. So I went and bought some. Those are stuck on and they are not coming off. It's like the M3 sticky pad sort of thing. You can uh, turn them on and off here with this little button and also uh, turn the brightness um, like low or high. And they're motion um, activated. So at night, as you walk up to the van, these bang on and they're so bright 
it's uh, absolutely awesome. Like I said, you can turn them off as well. So when you're driving, you know, things aren't lighting it up as, the, as they're going past. But these are awesome. And no wires. Just a little solar thing on top. And uh, yeah, they're brilliant. I really do recommend them. In fact, I'm thinking about maybe getting a few more just along that ridge line of the van. Just, just be awesome. They're designed for a house sort of thing, but yeah, they absolutely work a treat. You know what? Whilst we're out here as well, I just love, I just love the shape of the van. People look twice when you drive through because it looks like it's something from the eighties. It's only two thousand and two or two thousand and four, but yeah, I just think it's great, isn't it? So we got one thing's for sure. Uh, definitely carrying a lot more tools and bits and bobs in the back of the van. I don't really show it that often, but this is what it looks like. Absolutely rammers. Electrical system buried back there. Got some new dumbbells picked up. Uh, cool box. That was from Glastonbury Festival, which was absolutely awesome. But that's now for, like, uh, WD-40, stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, that's what it's for, though, isn't it? Storing tools, all that sort of stuff. Got a few on the back of the van here as well. So, yeah, here's a little refresh for you. As well as moving today... I also need to um, do a workout. That's my sort of like aim for August, hence the dumbbells. So look forward to that. Like I said, we've been living in here for 500 days now and we've you know traveled in this for months and months at a time. And now we're finding that we're working um, and, and sort of coming back to the van and doing a, having more of a work life than just a full-on travel life um, because like I said we've got plans coming up and we need to we need to earn a bit of cash for them plans but it's funny the things you think of that would help a little bit more in your van layout um, when you've got that sort of work life going on compared to when you've got the travel life going on the whole traveling situation in the van you spend a lot of time outside the van um, but in the UK you spend more time inside the van so it's my advice to people in the build vans would be definitely think about how you're going to use it and if it's going to be for both traveling and working think about how that will work for you one thing i think that me and loz lean slightly more to in this current situation will be having a rock and roll bed so a bed that collapses into a sofa because you've got more area to like sit and chill in the van in that tiny little sofa but it just it's just something that comes with experience of living in vans it's just valuable advice that i would give to somebody who's thinking about doing a van but anyway these sort of things pop into your head when you've been doing it for a little bit but one thing i'm really happy about is just how well this van has performed like this van hasn't got the best reputation. It's an LDV convoy. But you know what? They are actually bulletproof if you looked if you look after them properly. Like I made sure that we serviced this van and did it regularly and any sort of like jobs that needed doing on the engine or whatever got done. And it's all simple stuff at the end of the day. And this van has taken us to places that I could only dream of. And it's still going now. Uh, and that just proves, you know, you've got to look after your home on wheels. thing as well, my uh, offside mirror got hit the other day when I came, uh, when I finished the shift. I've got a replacement piece of glass in there, but it's kind of warped, so it's quite hard to judge distance for parking, so that needs to be uh, ordered tonight and repaired.
been to this location before and know what kind of people visit it and what kind of people don't not had any trouble here so oh, and break I feel a bit more comfortable here what do you reckon buds go out for a walk in the woods yeah come on then got like all this woodland and that dog will like to go running on here so it's good for him the only thing is the sun is out at the minute beaming down and there's no shade um, well there is it's up there but that's slanted what yeah uh what you have to do in this weather in my opinion well what helps is to can't even see you get on the uh, weather app see if it's going to be sunny or overcast if it's going to be sunny sounds a bit daft we'll get the compass out on the phone you know west to east and try and track where the sun um sort of like we'll go from west to east and just have a look to see if you're going to be in cover or just completely exposed um it does make a massive difference if it's going to be sunny tomorrow i'll check on the uh, weather app in a bit i'm going to move further down the road because i know there is some shaded spots down there um but they're, they're off the road uh, just near some some grassland and that but yeah sun is always a bit of a battle in van life isn't it Dogs and squirrels don't mix because that's what he was literally trying to run after. So just whilst I'm doing this, you're going to have to stay on the lead, old boy. Right. Yeah, the only thing is storing these weights. Pain in the arse putting them back together. But I haven't really got the room to store them. Time to finish off with a dog walk. Come on. I'm trying to get him like more used to water. He's getting there, he hated it at first. Don't you? Give him Oh, go and get the ball. Go and get the ball. Oh. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. Oh. What? But I'm having a beer. Oh, up. Only on camera would that actually ever happen. The little thing wasn't pushed in enough. Right, cheers anyway. Oh. Right, uh, had a shower. You know what? People actually forget that you can have a shower in your van. Like most of the time when I um, tell people I live in a van, I go, how'd you shower? What do you do about showering? 
and thought, oh, I'll use my shower. There it is. Covered in boobs. I love it. It's the one thing we've said from the beginning has worked so well. Whether it was to get a cold shower when it's too hot or to actually be able to shower when you say go to work or come back from work or something like that. But just waiting for Loz to come back now from her shift. Um, should be back any time. So, yeah. Just have a little beer and um, just wait till she comes back. Basically, the whole point of this video was to say we've got plans, haven't we? We've got big plans. Big plans that involve the three of us. Woo! Where are we going, bud? It's like the next big chapter, isn't it? Yeah. So we are going to Australia. So we're going to Australia. We're going to be getting rid of the van this year and going to Australia as a three. We get your second home, aren't we? Building a van and doing the full lap, aren't yeah. we? So starting again from scratch, buying a vehicle, converting it. Yeah. And third conversion. Third conversion this. So we can't wait. We're yeah, gonna be doing it at the end of the year. He's so excited he wants to go down, yeah. go on in. <laughs> um we're gonna be doing it at the end of the year. Yeah. But just gonna video the whole thing and yeah, can't wait for it. So Australia, full lap, new vehicle, van life continues. But yeah, it's gonna be goodbye. Goodbye to the bus. Oh, don't. It's going to be goodbye. Yep. What about it? You happy, bud? Yeah. Ooh. See you later. <laughs>